Welcome to an introduction to the ARCS model of motivational design. The ARCS model is an instructional design theory created by John Keller. It explores the foundational ways to motivate learners during the learning process. This learning theory is categorized into four subsections, attention, relevance, confidence, and satisfaction. Attention can be captured using perceptual arousal or inquiry-based arousal. Perceptual arousal uses the element of surprise to gain attention, whereas inquiry arousal piques a sense of curiosity by posing questions and challenges to the learner. Methods utilized to capture and maintain attention include active participation, variability, humor, specific examples, inquiry, and incongruity and conflict. In order to sustain interest in the subject matter, the material must be relevant to the learner. Using familiar and accessible language motivates the learner to engage with the content in a meaningful way. Keller proposes six strategies to cater to relevancy. These include experience, present worth, future usefulness, needs matching, modeling, and choice. Students are more motivated to learn when clear learning objectives and meaningful measurements of success are thoughtfully outlined. If students feel that they cannot meet the outlined goals or measurements of success, their motivation will significantly decrease. In order to cultivate student confidence, the facilitator must provide consistent feedback and support. They must also create a curriculum that allows for progressive development and growth which also allows the learner to control aspects of the learning process. The last step of the ARCS model is satisfaction. The sense of satisfaction must result from a process that motivates and allows the learner to overcome challenge rather than simply receiving praise and reward for easily completing menial tasks. The learner must come away from the experience feeling that the process was rewarding and beneficial. In order for TED-Ed videos to sustain and accomplish learning goals within such a short period of time, the ARCS model is a critical tool. Dan Finkel's Can You Solve the Killer Robo Ant Riddle? is a comprehensive example of the ARCS model. The video uses humor at the onset to capture and sustain attention, presents a challenge and conflict, and requires active participation and interactivity to solve the riddle. The content is relevant to the learner because it pertains to the development of their critical thinking and math skills. The riddle or the objective is very clear and concisely presented to the learner and the goal and outcome are outlined. Their narrated information is also summarized in a text format for reflection and understanding, allowing the learner to confidently engage in the task. Correctly answering or postulating about the riddle gives the learner a sense of self-satisfaction. You can see how this ticks off every aspect of the ARCS model. YouTube is within a similar realm. Successful and useful tutorials follow the ARCS model to a T. Web-based learning tools typically use various aspects of the ARCS model. Online learning formats constantly compete with external distractions and therefore must creatively grab and maintain attention with various techniques and multimedia interactivity. Web-based learning tools must also help build confidence by making the material accessible and familiar and present information into digestible sections. In summary, when creating a web-based learning tool, it is important to capture and maintain attention by using varying techniques and approaches. Facilitate active participation and interactivity. Ensure the material is relevant to the user and has usefulness. Help the student feel empowered and confident in the process and the outcomes. 
and ensure the learners come away with a rewarding and beneficial experience.